Hello everyone and welcome to the listing leads module and this is kind of an overview of the whole process of what we're going to be setting up in this module, right? So first and foremost, um, this is going to be a quick overview and in the next video we're going to go through and show you how to set up this landing page just based off the Arsenal MKG templates. So it makes it super easy and then what we'll do is show you how to add the automated email text marketing follow-up so that anytime a new lead comes in you have that follow-up 24-7 and then um, I'm going to show you guys how to create the Facebook ad, Facebook post, and get that post seen by the right people so it's not just your family and friends, right? So just to kind of walk you through this process, so this is our landing page right here, and you can see we've got, you know, they've clicked from a Facebook or Instagram post to get to this landing page, and as I mentioned, we're going to hit that and how to set that all up in a later video, but they're going to see, okay, this is the listing right here, so this picture, get instant access to the price and pictures of this property. Okay, so we'll also send you a list of properties just like this one. So click view 36 photos now. Okay, so they'll come in, they'll put in their, their email address, and they'll put in their phone number. Okay, they'll hit submit. And then here, we've now captured a lead. Okay, and that lead is going into the Arsenal MKG uh, CRM. So then you can have all that contact information. And the cool thing is, Arsenal will send you an email and a text notification once that lead comes in so you can get that right on your phone and then in that email or text it's going to have all the contact info so it's going to have their name phone number email address their address or whatever type of info you try to collect all right so then you can go through and automatically you know go just go set something up with them or you can just have the email text marketing automation just happen okay so now here what it says is call or text me at this phone number to see this home okay because that that's kind of like that's your most ideal lead. If somebody opts in and then they call or text you at your phone number and they say, hey, I want to see this home, that is a super, super hot lead right there. Okay, but sometimes they're not fully ready to go through and, and set up a call or an appointment with you. So you can say, or set up an appointment below. All right, so then we're just going to have this right here. And this sends us to our appointment scheduling app right here where they can come in and say, I want to set up a 20-minute phone call or meeting and uh, you can have whatever days and times of days that you are available um, right here on this calendar, okay? So they just clicked right through. I already had their contact information. They click schedule a showing, and they can come here maybe Thursday, September 7th, and I've got only two times available, all right? So maybe at 9 a.m., they hit confirm. They put in their, their first name, last name, email address, phone number. They hit schedule event, and the cool thing is here, um, it's automatically gonna go to their calendar as well as our calendar. So whether you use um, you know, Google Calendar, Outlook, or whatever you use, it's gonna go through and automatically be scheduled on there. It's gonna send notifications to both of you and so that nobody forgets about this appointment. Okay, so then all you have to do is at the beginning of each day, you just go through and see which phone calls, who, who scheduled calls with you, and it's a very nice and easy way to sift and sort through all of these leads that are gonna be coming in. Okay, because if, as you as the agent, sometimes it can be very, very difficult to know which leads are the most qualified, which ones are the best ones to get in touch with right away. And this really helps you distinguish which ones um, you should be getting in touch with immediately. All right, so anyway, guys, that was just a quick overview. Um, but let's dive into the next video where I'm going to show you how to actually set up that initial landing page. And then we'll take it from there. Alrighty, welcome back. And so you should now have been through the overview, so you should know what we're going to be building out here. Um, so this is the Arsenal MKG main dashboard. All right, so it's a separate account. You know, obviously you log into the software. This is the training module, and you'll see your different landing pages right here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've made this very, very simple with all these pre-built templates. Okay, and I know I talk very, very fast. So I'm going to like, I'm going to try to, to slow it down. And so if you need to pause the video as we're going through this, feel free to pause it, go take action and do it, and then you know, kind of go back and forth. And that's what I found is the best way to really implement and get all this, this put together. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is first click on create another website, okay? And this one is for a, a listing, okay? And the cool thing is what we already have in place is this little campaign right here that's already pre-built and basically done for you, so you don't really have to do much. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click choose right here. And that's gonna kick us into the website builder. And this in here, we can edit the images. If there's videos we wanna add, we can add a video or edit videos. Um, this one, we probably won't use video, 
We can edit the text, anything, and customize it to you and your business. Okay, so um, first and foremost, if you guys see right over here this theme, if you want to change the color, you can come in here and say like, you know, um, we're, we're trying to make it so it's not just numbers, but it's actually, it has the colors. So like this AMKG one, this is the Arsenal branded colors and kind of font. Um, so anyway, you can kind of change it up, see which color you like, and, and go about that, right? So let's just stay with, let's just do the Arsenal MKG brand right now. Okay, so we'll stay there. And then as we come here, um, what we could do is it says click to edit this section. Okay, so this is the main landing page and we've already got the headline already done how we want it. We've got the sub headline and the call to action. So what we're going to do is just click on this right here. Okay, and what we're going to do for the listing leads campaign is we want to change the background image to be a, a front shot of the home that you have of the listing. Okay, so then it's consistent when they're seeing that picture on Facebook or Instagram or wherever they're seeing it, and then they click on it and they see it's here and they're like, okay, I, I'm in the right spot, all right? So all we're gonna do to do that is we're just gonna click on choose new image right here and we are gonna come over to my images, all right? And th this is a library of all these images that, that I've used before but I'm just gonna show you how to upload and do everything. So we're just gonna click choose image to upload and I threw an image on my desktop, so right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit open and then once it's there, it's just a little quick preview but we still have to hit upload image. Okay, so we're just gonna hit upload image. It's gonna take a second to upload and then um, right there. So th this is it right here. So we just select that and then from here, we could crop rotate all that stuff but I just kinda leave it just as is. Okay, and then we're just gonna click use this image, all right? So then, you know, you basically just change the background, you customize it to whatever um, the listing might be, all right? So this is a home in Arizona, I believe, that I just went and pulled for this example. And then if you want to change any of this text, which I don't recommend doing because we already know that this really works very well and converts, um, you could change it just by clicking over here on the left-hand side, all right? And over here where it says like the fine print, you can see that down here like copyright 2015 Arsenal MKG. You can put, you know, your name and then maybe like your brand or something like that. Or like if you're like Remax, Keller Williams, 21st Century, whatever you're with, you could do that. Okay, and then one thing is down here at the very bottom, sometimes people are like, well, Jason, I don't have 36 photos. Okay, well, all you have to do is come over here if you have 27 or if you have 19 or however many photos you've got, you just kind of change up the number, okay? I mean, the, it's best to have a decent amount of photos and if you have a listing, chances are you have a decent amount of photos, so that kind of works there. Okay, so now that is how you change this part up here. If you want to change this little uh, footer area, you can see it's, just, it's done by sections, so all you do is just click to edit the section and then you could put like, Maybe, you know, your name and we'll say like your company. If it's like Remax, Keller Williams, whatever you might, might want to do. Okay, or you can kind of put this up here on this top one and then you could say like, you know, you could have your phone number maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't necessarily put that, but you can do whatever you want right there. Okay, so from here, we're just going to hit save really quick just to save this as we're working on it. Okay, then as we come over here, um, and, and just really quick, on this landing page, if we hit on page, um, we, can, we can choose what type of contact information we want to collect. But um, we have first name, phone number, and email address as default for this campaign template. And that's what I highly recommend. That's what we've seen as worked the very best. You can get their address later. You can add custom fields, but I would just stick with that. You don't really need to touch that at all. Okay, so now, so this landing page, after they put in their name, phone number, and email address, they're gonna hit what's called a thank you page or a thanks page right here. Okay, so we just click on this to toggle back and forth. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this and we're gonna change out, we're gonna hit choose new image and we're just gonna use that same image that we already used. And so we just have that consistency there. All right, so now that we've got the background image in here, uh, we wanna change up this text a little bit. Um, so coming back here over to this example right here, see this call slash text me at and then your phone number to see this home. I'm just going to copy that and I'm just going to throw it in right here. OK, 
Okay, and obviously throw in your phone number so it doesn't get all, all crazy. And then um, we can say, or set up an appointment below. I'm just gonna copy and paste that, okay? And then you can see I've got a, a button right there. So all we're gonna do to add a button is just click on this, this little toggle thing right here that says show link. So we're just gonna click that. And instead of Google, as we see here, set up call to schedule a tour, okay? So we'll say set up call to schedule a tour or whatever, I mean, whatever you wanna say, right? And then right over here, this Calendly link. So this is, this is that link right there. That's what we're gonna come in here and um, put right here as the link, okay? So when they click on set up call to schedule a tour, they're gonna go to this page right here and be able to go and set up an appointment with you. All right, so um, super simple, super easy, and that's pretty much all we need to do. So we're just gonna hit publish right here, and then um, wait, give it a second for it to save, fully save, um, and then if we wanted to change the name instead of listing leads, like maybe say like, um, this one's in Arizona, so like Phoenix um, property or whatever. Because like, you don't wanna give, like put the address right there necessarily because that's kind of what you're holding back. Get instant access to the price and picture of this property. And um, I even in the, the ad copy, I, I hold back the address. And so they, they need to kind of opt in before they get that. Okay, so we hit publish right there. And if we come back out, we can find this page and kind of check out what we just created. Okay, so this Phoenix property right here, this first one. So if we click on this, we've got this new Phoenix property with the background image right there. Um, and honestly, you can go and like do stuff to crop it and center it and make it look better. But uh, like I, I've seen this work just perfectly fine just as is. Okay, so they come in, view 19 photos, Jason, um, let's see, uh, test. All right, so then we hit submit right there. They come over here, call, text me at your phone number to see this home or set up an appointment below. Set up call to schedule a tour, okay? So then you just come over here, schedule a tour, and uh, they get on your calendar. They, you know, 9.30 a.m., whatever it might be, goes on your calendar, their calendar, and we're all good to go, all right? So anyway, guys, go ahead and, and go dive into your Arsenal MKG account and set this landing page and thank you page up just like this. And then if... Um, and then in the next video, what we're gonna do is go in and dive into creating the automated email follow-up for your business or for this campaign right here. All right, guys, welcome back. So at this point, you should already have your landing page fully created. You can see this Phoenix property one that we created in the last video. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna create this automated email text marketing follow-up to stay in touch with all these new leads that are coming in. All right, so what we're gonna do for that so we're just gonna hover over the site. We've made it super, super simple. Uh, we're just gonna click on this follow-ups. So that's just you know the follow-up with the leads that are coming through. Okay, so we click on that. And for this listing leads campaign, we already have this initial one already pre-built in here um, for, for you and what you're doing here, okay? So it says, hey, first name, and it's gonna just pull their first name, whatever they type in that first name spot. Thanks for requesting information on this beautiful home. Here's a link to view all 36 photos of the home. Okay, so 36, or as I mentioned, you might need to change this up if it's like 27 or 19 or whatever it is. I think we put 19, right? And then some people ask me, they're like, well, where, we, where should we open up or where should we upload images of the photos of the home? Okay, so there's two places. There's one is dropbox.com. Okay, so Dropbox is basically a free file storage um, site or Google Drive is another one. Okay, so my computer's taking a, a second here to, to upload this. What you can see here, I've got you know different things that you can just upload a file, and then what you could do is, let's see, come down here. It's like right here, you just click on share, and then you just you, you can uh, copy the link right there, okay? So that's what I do, and then I will, so like let's say, let's say this one for example, we'll click share, copy link, and then um, what I'll actually do too before that is bit.ly is a URL shortener. Okay, so what that means is basically if you're gonna have a really, really long URL, because look at this, if I paste this link, look how long that is. Okay, that's my Dropbox link. 
So that looks like really messy. So I don't want to I don't want to put that in my email right here. So what I'll do is then go to like Bitly, this URL shortener. And I'm just gonna paste this in here and see how it makes it this like this nice little simple link right there for me. Okay, so it's just bitly.com. Okay, and then we'll just hit copy and then we'll come back here to Arsenal. And where this it says link, we're just gonna put in the link right there. Okay, then the address of the home is, and then we'll just put the address. You'll just wanna update that. And the asking price is the asking price. Okay, here's an overview sheet of the details of the property as well. You can have that if you have like a PDF with kind of like the details of the property, you can add a link to that, or you can just take this out if you don't have that. It says, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. Just hit reply to this email, or you can call and you can even put in. I always like to add text as well, just because some people are more comfortable texting than calling. Tech call, text me at, and then this is automatically gonna pull your phone number that's on, um, on file with the account. Okay, and it says talk soon, my first name, last name, and it's got a little profile picture of you too. Okay, so um, then over here, this is the already subject line that's already pre-built in there. And then here, this is your the, the from name and the from email, which this is just a demo account, so it's just pulling that information here. But if it doesn't pull your information, which it should, you just put your name, your email at gmail.com or whatever it is, okay? And then we'll hit publish just to update that, okay? And then that first email is all 100% good to go. Okay, so now at this point, that's really all you need to do, but I kind of like to add two more follow-up sequences, okay? Now the first one is gonna be a follow-up text message, the second one would be a follow-up email the following day. Okay, so what we're going to do right here is we're just going to click on create. We're going to say new text message. Okay, so you can see right here, this is like starting to create that auto drip campaign right here. And so um, we're going to have to give this a name. We'll say text number one. It really doesn't matter what you name it. Nobody ever sees that. And then your delay. So see this delay is zero minutes, hours, or days. So if it's set at zero, that means as soon as they put in their name, phone number, and email address, they're gonna get this text immediately, all right? And right below this video, you're gonna have a, um, you're gonna have some of these scripts, because these ones I don't have already automatically put in here. So you're just gonna have the, the copy and paste file to this document right here, where you can just co come in here and copy and paste it into this section, right? Okay, so you're just gonna say, copy this first one, this is for hot leads. Um, and you're just gonna come over here and say, hi, this is, and then fill in your name. So I'll say Jason, Jason Wardrop, comma, I think that's right, grammar right there. Your local real estate expert. I just saw you registered for, um, you just registered, uh, you just showed interest, you just showed, interest in my listing or however you want to word that right like because in there i say like consultation listing depending on what campaign you're really going for um and i say instead of shoot me a text to confirm your spot okay that's one that we sometimes do but i'm just going to come over here and i want to copy this same link right here that they were they were encouraged to do on um, the, the thank you page and just get it to them one more time, and that's gonna increase the amount of people that actually schedule a, a call with you, okay? So, um, go. I'll put like, go ahead and schedule a call, a showing with me for this property here. And then I have, we only have a few spots left, just kinda of create that urgency, scarcity, um, there and then maybe put uh, you know your name again okay so that's basically the the template that's how you kind of want to word it and uh, the like I mentioned the the copy and paste uh, follow-up sequences are just right below this there you're gonna have a, a version to this uh, little file right here okay so now we're just gonna hit publish all right and then um, what you could do is basically copy the same thing and just do a new email and send this out one day later. Okay, so hey, this is Jason Wardrop. 
This is Jason Wardrop, your local real estate expert. Um, oh, I just showed interest. You, you'll probably want to say, I saw that you just showed interest. I saw that you showed, okay. Um, so what we're going to do here is, because this is going to be one day later, so this is going to be more of a reminder to have them schedule a call with you. Okay, so I just wanted to double check and make sure you had a chance to schedule a um, a showing for the listing you showed interest in yesterday. And then we'll say, let's keep it there. Go ahead and schedule a show with me for this property here. Uh, we only have a few spots left. And then, you know, obviously you don't need your name here because we've got this uh, little signature, okay? So one other thing I like to do is I like to make this font even bigger, okay? So we just highlight it all and we just come over to font size and I like to make it 18 because sometimes people are like reading on their mobile phones or if, you know, they don't have their glasses or whatever. I just like to make it as simple as possible, okay? And so um, we can make the subject line, have you scheduled your showing yet? Question mark. Okay, and we'll just name that that same thing. and We'll hit publish. Okay, so basically that's it guys. Like this one's already pre-built in here. So that's, I mean, that's the bare minimum. That's all you really need. But I like, cause I mean, you've got them, hey, you know, hit reply to this email or call text me at this phone number. And they've already seen on the thank you page. They've already seen the invite to go through and schedule an appointment with you. But I like kind of go take the extra step and send them the, the text message as well as the second day email. And you can go and have like, you know, a week or two weeks worth of follow-up. Um, all you have to do is just add more emails here and then just create the follow-up here. Um, sending them back to that. But I mean, right out of the gate, this is what, this is kind of the core of what you're going to want and need for, um, for what you got going on. Okay. So anyway, uh, click right below. You should have, I mean, this, this uh, template is already in the system, so you don't need to worry about that. And then these two templates, obviously we modified them slightly, but I mean, it may by a few words maybe, and with just putting our own links and stuff like that in. Uh, but that is the link to this page right here is right below the video. Okay, so anyway, go ahead and make that happen, get that done. And then the next video, we're going to jump into Facebook. We're going to kind of walk around um, setting up your Facebook tracking and take it to the next step to get this campaign all set up so you can go ahead and launch this. All right, welcome back, guys. And in this video, we're going to go through and set up the Facebook tracking so you could properly run your Facebook ads, all right? So if you guys have like used like the boost post button on your Facebook page in the past and it hasn't worked, uh, this is probably why, because this is a key step, key video to really going through and making your lead generation work. Okay, so at this point, you should have set up your landing page and thank you page as well as your automated email and text marketing follow-up. And so now let's dig into Facebook. Okay, so now there's two ways to get to your Facebook ads manager. So one, is over here, see this explore tab? You can click ads manager right there or come over here to this drop down arrow. You can come over here to create or manage ads. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit manage ads right here for this example. And then I'm going to come over to, let's see, I'll just go to one of these ad accounts right here. And okay, so this is ad account I don't really use or at all anymore, but uh, we'll just kind of demo it in here. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is, so what we're gonna do is set up the Facebook tracking. So it's called a Facebook pixel, okay? So basically, pixel, all, all it really means is it's the way that they track who's visited your website, who hasn't, and then, you, you know, like, obviously, once you go through and have somebody put in their, their contact information to become a lead, but the cool thing is, is even if somebody does not put in their contact information, they just kinda hit your page, and they're just kind of looking around, Facebook can still know and track every single person that lands on your website. Okay, and that's very powerful as we're going through and setting all this up. So what we want to do is click on Ads Manager over here. So we just click on Ads Manager, and we'll come down to All Tools, and then we're going to come over to, see this Assets column? Go down to Pixels, okay? 
All right, so if you're, this is the very first time you've been into this pixel section, it's probably gonna have right in the middle, like a green or blue button. So whether like green like this or blue like this, that's saying, you know, create your pixel. Okay, but if you already created one, this is, as you can see, the, the welcome to the new pixels page. So we try to always keep our training updated because Facebook's always kind of updating things, making things better, easier for you. Um, and so this is kind of that, that new platform, right? So right here, we've got the default pixel. So that's just obviously, this is just a demo one. Um, so this is the one that we're gonna use. Okay, so what we're gonna do to actually use this and put this onto our landing page is we're gonna click on details right here. Okay, and then from here, it's gonna show like kind of the activity of how many like, and this is obviously, you know, a demo account, so you kind of like have random spikes and other ones where it's like pretty low. Uh, but what we wanna do is come over here and click on setup. Okay, when we click on setup, it's gonna give you two options. Okay, use an integration or tag manager or copy and paste the code. Okay, now I never use this one. This is a little bit more advanced and this is more for like e-commerce type stuff as you can see here. Um, but this, the copy and paste one, this is all you need and it makes your life, my life, everyone's life a whole lot easier. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you can see like install pixel base code, see 1.1, 1.2, and then it's got two and three. You never even have to mess with two and three, okay? That, you don't even have to mess with any of that. All we're gonna do is hover over this and see how it says copy code to clipboard. So we'll just click on that. It says copy to clipboard, it goes green, shows you that like, okay, this was successful. And we'll come back over here to Arsenal MKG. And this is the, um, this is the page we've just created, right? So we're gonna click on edit. Okay, so we're gonna go into, back into the website builder. And in here, we're gonna be able to just paste this code that we've just barely copied from Facebook. All right, so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna come over here to this left-hand section. Okay, we're gonna click on page. And then as we're scrolling down, we're gonna to go to advanced. And if we come back over here, it says, if possible, paste the pixel code at the bottom of the header section just above the head tag. Okay, so the header section. So if we look at that, we come over here, it says header tracking code. So all we're gonna do is click in here. And if you're on a Mac, it's command V, or on a PC, it's control V, and that just pastes the code right in there. Okay, so that, that's done for the landing page, but we also wanna do it for the thank you page, okay? So this for the second page, because we wanna know everyone who hits this page and then everyone who hits this page, because if they hit this page, that means they become a lead, and if they just hit this page, that means they've clicked to the page, but they actually didn't become a lead. Okay, so we're gonna click on the thanks page up here, then we're gonna click on advanced, uh, or we gotta come back over here to the page, right? So the page, advanced, header tracking code, and we just paste it in there, okay? So now all we have to do is come over here and hit publish, okay? And now, okay, website saved and published. If we come back out here, I'm gonna show you guys how we can track and make sure that that is working properly, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to Google, okay? And we're gonna download a little, and, and I would highly recommend using all this in Google Chrome because Facebook Ads Manager works best in Google Chrome, Arsenal MKG works best in Google Chrome, and this is a little plugin for Google Chrome. Okay, so what we're gonna do is type in Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay, and if you guys need to like pause the video right here and you wanna go back and do those first couple of steps, I would highly recommend pausing the video, going back and doing those, and then after you've got that done, you can download the Facebook Pixel Helper, okay? So we come here, we download this, so you can see it's in this, the Chrome web store. It's 100% free little, little plugin right here. So we just say add to Chrome, and you can see right here, this is all grayed out, and this is the Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay, so it's, if you've got your URL, it's just to the right of it, all right? And so when it's grayed out like this, that means that the Facebook Pixel Helper, or the Facebook Pixel is not properly installed. Okay, so on this page, there is no Facebook pixel. But if we come over here and we click on our website, okay, see how it went, gr it went green right there? Well, it's it colored in with blue and then the green one. So that means it was properly installed, okay? So um, what we're gonna wanna do here, now that we know it's properly installed, at least on this page, we want to go set up what is called a custom conversion, okay? 
So we, what we can do is just click out of here. We don't need any more of that. We've, we've already gone and copy and paste the pixel. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is come over here to the Facebook ads drop down. We're gonna go over here to all tools and we see like on frequently used, you can see my custom conversions right there. But if it's not there, if it's not on your frequently used, you go over to measure and report, click on custom conversions, okay? And what this is, so like a conversion, if you think about it, like that's when a lead, somebody converts into a lead. Okay, so we want to set up a conversion. So anytime somebody hits, you know, becomes a lead, we know then we are able to track that inside of Facebook Ads Manager. Okay, so if we click on create custom conversion right here, and we could say, um, uh, let's see, URL contains, choose a category, we want this to be a lead. Okay, so now URL contains, that is where if we need to come in here, and we put in, let's say, put in your name, email, and the phone number. Okay, so now that's the landing page. This is the thank you page. And if they hit this page right here, that means that they have become a lead, right? Because it means they put in the contact information, they've come here, hit the second page that, that we've set up already. And so what we need, it says, okay, it says here, include the URL that, that this contains, that, that means that they've, they've actually converted into a lead. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take, see everything, so sites.rslmkg.com forward slash 6763, that's the number of the campaign, forward slash thanks. Okay, so everything from here on, or everything before that, we're gonna copy that. Okay, because this long, weird, like looking code right there, that is specific, that's like an ID for that specific lead, that's like an identifier um, saying this is basically this lead. Okay, but everything before this, no matter what lead comes through, that's gonna stay the same. All right, so what we're gonna do is just take this, everything from thanks and before, and we're just gonna copy and paste this right into that section. Okay, and then we choose a category. You've got, you see all these different ones. We're just gonna choose lead, because that's what we're going after. We're gonna hit next, and then we're gonna say demo Phoenix listing lead, okay? So we'll hit create. And for the name, like all I do is just if it's like a home seller lead or buyer lead or listing lead, I like I kind of just like make sure that I know what I'm talking about there. Okay, so now if I come down here, you can see demo Phoenix listing lead. Okay, it says no activity yet. Okay, and the reason why is because what we have to do is you see this this pixel up here. It's all green. It's showing that it's the pixel's working, but because we just created this custom conversion right there, we need to refresh the page. Okay, so now that we've refreshed the page, it's showing, okay, we've got the, the pixel there, and we come over here, we refresh this page, and this Demo Phoenix listing lead, it should pop to the top here. Okay, okay, so see right here. So it says active, last received in the last hour. Okay, so D Demo Phoenix listing lead, that's the one we just created. And so um, that's basically what we need to do to set up and prepare to go and create our, our ad campaign, all right? Because we're gonna use um, what's called a conversion campaign, which is all focused around generating leads as opposed to just getting likes, comments, and shares on your Facebook post. Okay, so anyway guys, go through, do this, go um, get, that, get that Facebook pixel, that tracking device mechanism, copy and paste that into the Arsenal MKG software on the landing page, as well as the thank you page and then go and create your custom conversion just like this. Um, also get Facebook Pixel Helper, make sure that's all working. And then from there, um, now we are all set up and prepared to take the next step to start creating the actual ad and get into the targeting and, and the ad copy and all that stuff. So anyway guys, go get that done and I will see you in the next video. All right, welcome back guys. So um, at this point you should have your landing page, thank you page all set up the email, text message notifications, your Facebook tracking, all that stuff in place. And so now we're at a point where we can create the post or in other words, the ad and start setting up your ad and start doing the targeting and all that good stuff, right? So um, let, let's just dive into it. So where we're gonna go first is um, I've got right below this video, you should, see a, um, you should see a post like this. This is kind of the demo post. You can see a bunch of different photos right here and you've got the copy that you can basically just copy and paste right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this 
Then I've got my demo. This is my demo um, real estate page that I, that I created back in the day for you guys, just kind of like show you how you how you do these things. So um, you know, I, I'm not a realtor in Park City, but um, I just live close by there. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a post, and the reason why we're gonna do this is because um, you can do this inside of the Ads Manager. The reason why I like to make it as a, a Facebook post first is one, you can get some organic reach or in other words, some free um, eyeballs on your, your content and some likes and comments and all that stuff. But also, um, as I've noticed with my advertising, um, the, the content that works the best is the ones that don't really look like ads. So it just looks like a normal Facebook post. So it's not like, you know, when you make a Facebook ad, it's gonna have like at the bottom like the image, the headlines and all that stuff. Whereas if you just make a normal post, it doesn't look like that, but it, it will say sponsored at the top. But I've just seen this work a lot better time and time again. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come in here, copy this info right in there, okay? And um, so let's just come in here and I, what I like to do is I like to kind of space this out, okay? The reason why I like to space it out is because it makes it easier on your eyes to be able to go through and read it. So like you can see like, you know, pre-listed or we could even say like new listing, you know, see it before it hits the market, three beds, maybe two baths. Um, I like to kind of like give just a quick, quick overview of what we're, we're getting ourselves into right here. Okay, and then on the Lanny page right here, Okay, it's saying, you know, um, get instant access to the price and pictures of this property. Okay, and so right here it says go here to get price, location, plus more pictures. And we're going to add the pictures here in a second. And so then we have a call to action basically to the link of our landing page. Okay, and to create this, you can see this is like a, a it's called a bit.ly link. It's basically a URL shortener. So right here, see where it says sites.rslmkg.com. You can go and make your own custom URL and all that stuff with um, with Arsenal MKG, but what I like to do is just simple and easy to get going. Is just copy this and type in bit.ly as you can see right here, okay? And then we could just paste that in there, and then it's just like this, you know, generic Bitly link. So we'll just hit click copy, and we'll come back over here. Instead of this link right here, we're going to delete that and we'll paste in the new link. Okay, so you can see this is the Phoenix property. We'll just exit out of that right now. Um, so three bedrooms, home in, uh, we'll say Phoenix. So like there, there's gonna be some things that, you know, I'm just kind of running you through this, the structure. Um, there's gonna be some things you're gonna wanna tweak and edit to customize to you and your listing and your area. But basically what you wanna do is, you know, new listing, uh, pre-listed or see it before, it's like something that's like kind of draws the attention right here. And then just a quick run through, three bedrooms, two baths, four bedrooms, three baths, whatever it might be. And then a quick call to action in case they're like, hey, I'm already ready. I, just, I wanna just get in and uh, talk to this agent about this listing. And then right here, this is for people that are reading a little bit more. So you wanna have like two basic paragraphs explaining kind of like the hottest features of the home. Like does it have a pool? Does it have like a two, three car garage, high ceilings, um, stainless steel appliances? Like what are the things that are gonna really draw somebody in? Is it gonna be like really close to a park if it's like you're targeting families with, um, yeah, families with young kids or great schools in the area? Just different things and just be like, you know, creative about how you wanna go and position this for like who that target market, who it fits best for. Okay, so then there's gonna be a couple little paragraphs here. And then also, another thing I like to do is because people like to read with their mouse, like you see my mouse is moving right here. And so what I like to do is then at the very end, include, go here for price, address plus more picks, and then we'll update this, um, we'll update that link. Because then at the very end, their, their mouse is already right here instead of having to go all the way up here, even though it sounds, sounds funny because it sounds super easy just to go up in there and click, but you're gonna get a lot more clicks, a lot more conversions when you do this, okay? So now here at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna add some photos, okay? And I don't have photos of a specific listing, um, but let's see here. Let me just, let me just download, um, we'll say Phoenix. Arizona home and obviously you're gonna have already pictures of your listing and everything 
um, that you don't you don't need to go through and uh, do this. But let's just for this example, um, I'm just going to come in here and take this image right here. And um, so anyway, we're going to come back over here. And the, the idea is, so if we look on this, this landing page right here, it gives instant access to the price and pictures of the property, you know, view all 19 photos now. I like to put like 10 to 12 photos right here in the actual Facebook posts, okay? And since this is just a demo, I don't have 10 to 12 photos of a listing, um, but that's just kind of the idea there. So you want to add 10 to 12 photos of like the, the best looking photos of like maybe the backyard of... I like to have this first initial one, that that front view of the property. So obviously, I should have this this same exact picture right here. I think I deleted it um, over the weekend, but you should have that same exact picture right here, is that's on your landing or on your Facebook ad or Facebook post, okay? And then maybe some interior, exterior pictures of the back backyard, and um, just some different things like that, okay? So anyway, um, that's kind of that's kind of where we want to go with this. And then once they click on this this link right here. You know, it's going to obviously take them to the landing page. Okay, so we're just going to hit publish. And um, so, you know, you can see kind of how this looks. It says see more. They click on this bit.ly link. It goes to our landing page that we just created. Okay, or even this one right here goes to the landing page we just created. And then, um, you know, it just looks like a normal post, right? There's no like headline or like, you know, click here to learn more or any of that, that stuff. It just looks more natural. And so you're able to get um, a little bit better um, exposure and conversions on your, your post. Okay. So anyway, I was actually going to make this all into one video. But what I think I'm going to do is um, go in, create your post right here, copy and paste all the text and everything. And then from there, what we're going to do is this next video, we're going to dive into the Facebook Ads Manager. And I'm going to walk through um, what campaign objective to choose, the targeting, and all of that different stuff. So... Um, anyway, guys, uh, go ahead and get this done, and I will see you in the next video. All right, welcome back. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the Ads Manager. We've already created the post. We've got the landing page, the emails, all that stuff set up. Okay, so what we're going to do is come back over here and just go to the main Ads Manager. All right? So once we're here, what we're going to do is come over to, uh, we can either click Create Campaign here or Create Ad. You can see either one of those. I'm going to click on create campaign and when it comes over here, let's hit start over. Okay, so right here, this is very important, okay? So it's going to say, what's your marketing objectives? Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to send people to your website? Do you want to get engagement on your posts, like likes, comments, shares, all that stuff? Do you just want, do you have a video that you want to get video views? And just if you, if you guys have a video of your listing instead of pictures or you want to use both or whatever, you can also... On this post right here, instead of just using pictures, you could also use a video if you wanted to. Okay, I should have mentioned that in the last video, but anyway, so it's got all these different items that we can go through and choose from, and what we want to choose is conversions, okay? Remember in, I think, two videos ago, we created our own custom conversion with the Facebook pixel? Okay, so that's what we want to do is choose conversions. That means anytime uh, somebody converts into a lead, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to say demo listing campaign, we'll say Phoenix, okay? And so this is just basically saying, you can see we've got three things. The campaign, which is the objective, like what do you want to do? Do you want to generate leads? Do you want to get video views? Do you want to get people to get like, comment, and share your, your post? And then this, the ad set, that is your targeting. Who do you want to target? And then the ad is obviously the ad, the actual, the, the copy, the, the images, and all that stuff that we have actually already created. Okay, so we're just going to hit continue. Okay, and then here at the top it says ad set name. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to maybe like give, let me know what, what listing is. So listing, and we'll say name right there, and you just obviously fill in the name, and then maybe you could put even the, the city that it's in. Okay, and then we come down here. You see this conversion right here? This is where we're gonna to want to, we're actually gonna exit out of this and see this demo Phoenix listing lead. We're gonna select the conversion that we just created. Okay, so now Facebook knows anytime, like the, the goal of this ad, this ad campaign, is to get people to complete this website conversion right here, to click on our, our post 
and then go to our landing page and actually opt in to become a lead. Okay. So now as we come down here, um, what we want to do is see the, the targeting. So for the locations, we want to exit out of the United States and we want to just put the Phoenix area. Okay. And obviously Phoenix is pretty big. And so, you know, it, you know, look within 25 mile radius, there's 3 million people. Okay. And, and you might be in a smaller area. Um, let's, we could even say like, let's for this one, let's say we're in Scottsdale. Okay. That's a, that's a little bit, oh, Scott, Louisiana. No, just for this, uh, example, I just want to show you guys. So Scottsdale is, is a, is a city just outside of Phoenix, but you can see it's kind of the same reach. Um, so like, let's say this is a listing in Scottsdale and then locations. See how it says everyone in this location. We don't want that. Okay, we want to click on this and we want to say people who live in this location because everyone in this location, that could be people visiting, that could be people driving through, um, you know, it could be a number of different things. So we just want to put people who live in this location. You can see that already dropped by 300,000. Okay, now this is a pretty big audience and, you know, it's, it's a little bit tough to know, okay, well, like, is that, like, is that really, um, is the bigger the better? Like, Facebook's algorithm does work great with a larger audience, but that's probably a little bit too big than what we want to go for. So what we want to do is come over here and let's say maybe within 10 miles of the Scottsdale area. Okay. If you're in a, like a small community, you might want to go 25 to 30 miles out because if you're in a rural, rural area, then you could, it could benefit you to actually have a wider um, range because lots of times there's like, you know, in, in areas like Phoenix, the homes are a lot closer together. Whereas like if you're in Wyoming or Montana, you're, you're on like, you know, 10 to 20 acres, you're on a lot more land. Okay. Okay. So we've got people who live in this location, Scottsdale, 10 mile radius. Okay. And then we're coming down and then also like if someone's going to buy this home, they're probably not going to be 18, right? They're probably going to be a little bit older. If we look at this home, like, I mean, that's somebody's probably going to be at least 30 years old before they can afford. Um, this is a really nice looking home right here. Okay, so I like to kind of just guesstimate like, okay, well, let's maybe jump up to um, 30 years old and you, so like, here's the thing. These are kind of some standards I like to use, but you as an agent, you should know your area like the back of your hand. Like you should know the neighborhood. You should know what type is like, you know, in Phoenix, they get a lot of retired people like second home type of things, or they're moving there to retire or there's a lot of families as well. Okay, so is this community, is this area, is it geared more towards younger families? Is it geared towards uh, people who are retiring and looking to like just, you know, sell the roots down in, in a new place? Um, so that's kind of where you want to pick this age range. Okay, so if this is like younger families, let's say, I'd maybe go from 30 to even 50. Okay, so now you can see this is now down to 230,000 people. All right, and so as we come down here, um, you know, in, in Arizona, there's a lot of people that speak Spanish as well as English. So I like to kind of just leave that open gender. I like to let, let it be men and women. And so like, I hope you guys are kind of thinking through this, like this is kind of the standard template, but then as you go through and you get your initial results, then you can go through and make tweaks even. Okay. Because like, if you're like, okay, well, um, everyone's kind of like either too young or too old or too like not, don't have enough money or whatever based on your leads coming in you can come back in here and make the tweaks and adjustments necessary to target your ideal target audience, okay? So now, as we come down here, we can even come in and say detailed targeting. One thing that I've seen work well is if you type in like Zillow, okay, or like um, Trulia, okay, if you type in Zillow or Trulia, these are, um, they have these interests, these, it's like lots of times like people that are, you know, they like Zillow or Trulia, they're kind of like, they're liking them at the moment because they're trying to get into that mindset of purchasing a, a home, right? Or you could even do like house, um, house.com, okay? And you can see our, our reach has even stayed pretty much the same. Um, but anyway, so, so that's kind of some just different ideas as far as like if you want to get more into the detailed targeting. And then if you want to even... Um, so like see this buying a house, you can try that. I haven't seen it like be cra like crazy effective, but if you want to go through and split test it, you're more than welcome to. 
Um, and then if you want to like, so if you're after like more of a higher income demographic, you can come over here and go to, let's see, I think it's browse. Okay. So browse demographics, you can come over here to financial and you could do income or net worth. Okay. So if you want to go and say, I only want people making over like a hundred thousand dollars a year. So 100, 125, uh, 150, and you could choose all of these different ones right here for the higher income individuals. Okay, and sometimes, guys, see how this is not changing the 230,000. Sometimes it takes Facebook a second to update that. I've noticed that sometimes as I'm going through and creating these campaigns. Okay, so that is kind of some just different thoughts and strategies, or you know, if it's obviously you know, a, a, a lower, um, lower end home, not lower end home, but like, you know, maybe two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar home. You can obviously like some of this making over half a million dollars a year, probably is not looking for that specific home. So the idea is here, guys, get in the minds, the head of your, like whoever would be an ideal fit for that home, for that listing and kind of like try to narrow it down using these different um, demographics. All right. Okay. And then for placements right here, what I like to do is they say automatic placements recommended. For me, I haven't really seen that work to the best of my ability. So I like to go to edit placements and then I only like to do, so see Facebook, I only like to do the Facebook feeds. Okay, so the Facebook news feeds, that's like desktop or mobile news feed as someone's scrolling through Facebook and seeing like a post right there. Okay, so I uncheck everything else that is not just the Facebook feeds. Okay, so I uncheck, uncheck everything else. You can see I brought that down to 200,000. And then um, as far as your daily budget goes, okay, and I, I might be jumping over some things, guys, but if I'm jumping over it, that's because you don't, it's not like a necessity to go through and tweak, okay? So anyway, for the budget, the daily budget, I like to go and I like to start with $10 a day, but it kind of really depends on where your budget is with your um, real estate, okay? Like, if you don't have $10 a day, you can easily start with $5 a day or even $3 a day. I've seen people get great results with even $3 a day still. Um, or if you want to start with $20 to $25 a day, you know, have at it, okay? It's just, you just have to keep in mind if you're going for $3 per day and if it costs you, let's say, $5 to generate a lead and you're only spending $3 per day, you're probably only gonna generate one lead every other day, okay? So just keep that in mind, your cost per lead and how many leads you're getting is gonna be in direct proportion with what your daily budget is. All right, so now conversions, I'll leave that. Seven days click through, I'll leave that, leave all that stuff. Um, Facebook's already got that all set up so we don't need to mess around with that, okay? So now we're just gonna click continue. Okay, so now we've got the campaign done, the ad set, and now this is the ad. All right, and the great thing is, is we've already created the ad in the last post. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to use existing post because we've already already created it and we're gonna choose our Facebook page. Okay, and I've got a lot of Facebook pages here, but um, this one right here, Jason Wardrop, Park City Realty. So we'll choose this so you can see this new listing, see before it hits the market, three beds, two baths, link right there. That is the post we just created, okay? So if you don't see it initially, you can click on here, select a page post, and you'll be able to scroll through and see all the different um, posts on your page and select it, all right? Um, okay, so now we just come down, honestly, like you're, you're already done, you've already created that. And this, this pops up sometimes, you know, your ad may not be approved because Facebook's pretty, um, pretty careful about like the housing, employment, stuff like that. But have you ever seen like those little signs on the side of the road that says like, hey, I'll pay cash for any home. Like that's really more of what they're trying to avoid. It's just kind of like those, you know, scammers, kind of like those like little too good to be true type of deals. So I just hit certify compliance and um, I say acknowledge, I've read Facebook's policies because I have, I know what they are. Um, hit confirm. And then from here, all you have to do is hit confirm and you're done, you're good to go. So at that point, you're now going through and your ad's running for five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks a day, whatever the number is you chose. And this ad is um, gonna show up in the news feeds of the people that you targeted only in your community, okay? Based off that targeting that we did, the higher income, lower income, specific age ranges, whatever we wanna go through and do. And then once they see this ad, if they're like, okay, I like this property, 
they'll click out to the landing page, um, come through, put in their contact information, and then as we remember, we set up, um, they, have, they can either call or, or text you immediately because you gave them your phone number, or they can set up your, um, set up a call with you through Calendly. Okay, and at this point, we also have the automated email, text marketing going out, and anytime you get a lead with Arsenal MKG, you're gonna get an email notification and you can also set it up to get a text notification if you want to get the text notification immediately. And then inside that email or that text, it's gonna have all of the contact info that you collected from that lead. Okay, so then you can just literally call them right away even if you wanted to, okay? Because you've already got the email and the text that are going out immediately right away at first. Um, then if you're like just driving to an appointment or whatever, you can also go ahead and give them a phone call. Okay, so anyway guys, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, you have now gone through the whole listing leads campaign. Um, this ad that you've got set up, I would let it run for at least four to five days um, because Facebook's algorithm sometimes takes a little bit of time to go through and adjust to what you've just set up. And so, you know, let it run for four to five days at minimum. Um, if, it's, if it's converting well, I would continue to let that run. If it's not converting, like if it's like $25 or $30 per lead or higher than that or you know, somewhere like out of your, the range of what you feel comfortable with, you can cancel that and um, maybe try a little bit different targeting tweaks or um, try, try some other, other campaigns. But uh, for this campaign, guys, like time and time again, this has killed it um, for me, for a lot of the agents. I'd say all of the agents I've been working with. Um, so I don't foresee that really um, happening to you. So anyway, guys, um, hopefully this was helpful. Go ahead and dive in. Make sure you get this all done, get it set up. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next module. Hey guys, so I've been getting a few questions about how to know when new leads come in. Like, do you have to go through and log into your Arsenal MKG account and click on this lead section right here? Or, you know, how, how do you actually go about and do that? So I just wanted to show you really quick um, basically how to go through and be notified every single time that a new lead comes in and this works like th the nice thing about this is if you're out you know like on an appointment or whatever um, you can get notified just on your phone and call that person right from your phone okay so what we're gonna do is to set this up you do need to come here on your Arsenal MKG dashboard um, what we're gonna do is come up here to the top right to the profile section so let's click on profile right there and then um, we're gonna edit the profile. And then this part down here, um, it's got you know your basic information, everything. Um, you guys have probably seen this area right here. But if we come down to the bottom, it says send new contact emails. Okay, so that we can check this on or off. So um, it's by default, it's sent to daily because some people, I mean, are getting like 50 to 100 leads per day. And so some people are not wanting to have, you know, every single time a new lead comes in want to be notified. But um, the good thing is, is you probably do want to be notified every time a new lead comes in so you can actually call that person right away. So we want to make sure that is checked, which it is checked by default. But then we'll just want to change this from daily to each. Okay. And so once we hit each, that means each and every time. Uh, we could probably go with a better term there, but each and every time a new lead comes in, we will get an email notification and we'll have their contact information. Okay, so um, we'll just hit update user. And then if you go through and, and you, you'll be able to access all of these, like a, a new email will come through. And if you want to be notified right away, you can easily just turn on the email notifications on your phone. And so, you know, you could be like sitting at lunch or whatever, uh, an email notification comes in, you see a new lead just came in that, that second. So you can just open up that email, see their, their contact information in that email, and you can call them right away so you can be right on top of every single new lead that comes in. Okay, so um, that is the way to go through and connect with your new leads and, and be notified every single time a new lead comes in. So I hope that helps, and I will see you guys in the next video.